What's up guys, catch that! So today I'm gonna teach you five amazing card magic tricks. But before that, you know that I would do anything for you, right? And when I say everything, I mean everything! And I'm gonna prove it to you by setting myself on fire. What? No, I didn't sign for- ah! No, just kidding. You want to know how to do that? Well, at 100 thumbs up on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to set yourself on fire. But let's return to the card tricks. I hope you'll enjoy. Okay, so number one, let's start with something easy. You see that card? Okay, I just put that back on top. I blow. And... Magic. How did I do that? I tricked you. The first card you saw was actually the second card in the deck. So how to do it? Nothing easier than that. The only thing to do is that when you show the first card, you grab two cards instead of one. You show the second card, then you put it back on top, and show only the first. Number two, the card swap. This is the trick I love using the most, yet I still haven't explained it on this channel. How to do it? Well, that's really easy. Pay attention to my fingers. Just like the first trick, the secret is to have two cards. Now that you know that, it's just about practicing. That's the movement. You put those two fingers in front of the first card, the thumb behind the second one. Then, when you're ready, you just bring those two fingers under your thumb and use the last finger to block the first card. And when you master that, you can do pretty much whatever you want, just like this multiple card swap. Watch closely. Actually, there's a small twist on this one, so try to figure it out and tell me in the comments below. Number three, let's make a card disappear and reappear. This is as easy as one, two, three. Let me do it again. Now you see it, and now you don't. So how to make this unbelievable trick? This trick asks a little more practice, but it's as easy as the other ones in the end. And this time you only need one card, so what you need to do is pinch the card with your thumb and this finger. Then you bring those two fingers under the card, just like that. When this is done, you need to put those two fingers on the side and twist the card, just like that. Finally, the last step, you just need to open your hand. Number four, what if I told you that this lighter will be able to find the card that you'll choose? Crazy, right? Well, let's give it a try, shall we? Just tell me when to stop. Stop! Is that alright for you? Good. So this goes here, and this is your card. Let's make it even more personal by just doing things like that. Now we just put the card back in the deck, again, and we put that back in the, in the back. Now as I told you, all the job will be done by the lighter. You ready? Needs a bit more time. I think it's good. Let's try. Let's look at that. Mmm, smells... Smells like something just burned. And... Oh! Look at that! That's weird. Is it? Magic. So how did I do that? Well, this trick is a bit different from the others as it needs to be prepared. Before trying the trick, you need to have one burnt card. Then you need to put this card at the bottom of the deck. Then you make the show, and when people tell you to stop, you remove this part of the deck, and instead of showing this card, you force your card like that. Now that you force the card, continue making the show, use a pen to make the card unique so people will not believe it when the flame will find their card. When this is done, you put your two cards in the deck and put the deck back in its box. Make the show with the lighter, again, and then when you get back your cards, it's time for the big reveal. Boom. Finally, number five. I have no bloody idea how to call this trick, so let's call it the confessing card magic trick. Okay, so just tell me when to stop. This one? You sure? Really? Okay, so this is your card. Let's put it back in the deck, and then let's apply the magic. Self-confess. Uh, oh-ho! Boom. Was it your card? Yes? 
I know it, because I tricked the deck. The best thing about this trick is that it can be done everywhere, as you only need a normal playing card game. So what you have to do is simple, just put the lowest card the other way around, so it looks like both sides are up. Then ask people to stop you, and when they do, just keep their focus on the card while turning the deck. When this is done, you just need to put the card back in the deck, but the same way as the lowest card. Then make the shuttle lead to the big reveal, and while doing that, just turn this card. And then it's done! You just need the card to confess her identity. And this is the end of 5 amazing card magic tricks. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to put a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to my channel. Obviously, I'm not a professional. I mean, I'm not a magician. I'm a comedian. I make jokes. But despite that, if you want more, go follow me on all my social medias. You can also support me on Patreon to prevent me from becoming homeless. But no matter what happens, although if you do support me, I can say that I will love you more than right now. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to smile and bye-bye. Firebender! Woohoohoo! That's a good way to get rid of all your hair.